Niger's army, which has been battling jihadist violence since 2015, has announced the creation of a protection force to secure the country's strategic sites against terrorist attacks. This new force comes amid Niger's fragile security situation with ongoing jihadist violence in several regions of the country. The western part of the country, bordering Mali and Burkina Faso, has been a target of Al-Qaeda and Islamic State activities, while the southeast, bordering Lake Chad and Nigeria, has become a stronghold for jihadist groups Boko Haram and Islamic State of West Africa. More recently, the Gaia region in the northwest, bordering Benin, has also been the target of terrorist attacks. The new unit, commanded by the Forces for Protection and Development, will be tasked with preventing sabotage, terrorist attacks, and any other threats to the country's strategic sites. Particular emphasis will be placed on securing the uranium mines in the north, the oil wells in the northeast, and the Niger Benin pipeline. The road corridors used for imports and exports, in particular the Lume Wagadugu Nyamu Road, will also be subject to increased surveillance. These increased security measures come in the wake of the July 26 coup that brought a military regime to power. To form this protection force, Niger plans to recruit 10,000 additional soldiers from July 1st with the aim of increasing the strength of the military and filling out this new unit, which is crucial to Niger's stability and economic development.